A functional group is an atom, or group of atoms within an organic compound, that determine the characteristic reactions of a homologous series. Some familiar examples include alkanes, alkenes, alcohols, aldehydes, ketones, esters, and amines. Unknown organic compounds can be identified using qualitative tests. Here, the tests for identifying alkenes, alcohols, and halogenoalkanes are described. To test for the presence of a double or triple bond within a substance, bromine water is used. This is known as the test for unsaturation. Two test tubes should be labelled 1 and 2. In test tube 1, cyclohexene is added. In test tube 2, cyclohexane is added. Then, bromine water is added to each test tube. At first, nothing appears to happen in test tube 1 containing cyclohexene. As the reaction can only happen at the boundary between the two phases, the mixture is shaken. Fairly quickly, the bromine decolorizes, confirming unsaturation. In this case, one double bond is present in the molecule. The colourless addition product, 1,2-dibromocyclohexane, is formed. Test tube 2, containing cyclohexane, is also shaken. After shaking, the yellow-brown colour in the aqueous phase transfers to the organic phase because bromine is more soluble in the organic phase. However, it is not decolorized confirming that there are no double or triple bonds present in the molecule. To test for different alcohols, acidified potassium dichromate is used. The alcohols react differently depending on whether they are primary, secondary or tertiary alcohols. For this test, the three test tubes should be labelled primary, secondary and tertiary. The primary alcohol used is propan-1-ol. The secondary alcohol used is propan-2-ol. And the tertiary alcohol used is 2-methylpropan-2-ol. Acidified potassium dichromate solution is then added to each test tube. After a few minutes, the test tubes containing the primary and secondary alcohols have turned green-blue. The test tube containing the tertiary alcohol is unchanged. Primary and secondary alcohols undergo oxidation because they have at least one hydrogen atom on C1. Tertiary alcohols cannot be oxidised. This is because they do not contain a hydrogen atom on C1, so cannot reduce the potassium dichromate solution. The iodoform test can be used to identify the presence of a methyl alcohol group in alcohols. If this group is present, the precipitate triiodomethane is produced. First, ethanol is added to test tube 1. And methanol is added to test tube 2. Then, iodine solution is added to each test tube. And finally, sodium hydroxide solution is added to each tube. The mixtures are shaken gently.
In test tube 1, a pale yellow precipitate forms. In test tube 2, no precipitate forms. Ethanol contains a methyl alcohol group, giving a positive result. Methanol does not have a methyl alcohol group and gives a negative result. To test for halogenoalkanes, the first step is to perform a substitution reaction, which releases the halide ion. The halide ion is then tested with silver nitrate to confirm the presence of either chloride, bromide or iodide. First, silver nitrate solution is added to three clean test tubes. Then one iodobutane is added to test tube one. One bromobutane is added to test tube 2 and one chlorobutane is added to test tube 3. The test tubes are then placed in a water bath set at 50 degrees Celsius. The contents of each test tube should begin to change. In a relatively short period of time, the precipitates observed in each test tube indicate the presence of a halogen atom. In these experiments, the qualitative tests for identifying alkenes, alcohols and halogenoalkanes have been described. 